Hey everybody, it's old folks here. Um, for those of you that have been waiting for a video on my usual game, I just haven't been on as much. Been really busy in life uh, at that big point in the construction part of the building uh, with all this weather catching up. Six kids, yaddy yaddy. So I still play just not as much, but I wanted to say, you know, a lot of people like that I talk to know I'm playing something different too. There's a game that came out called Art of Conquest. I've been following it before it came out. It just came out on the 6th of June. So I've been playing that. A bunch of my friends have started playing. Um, they're asking some questions. And so I'm going to make <clears throat> sorry, some videos to kind of help uh, as you start out and give some ideas about it. So if you want to play, great. If not, that's your choice too. So when you first start off, you know, obviously you get to choose a kingdom. Um, there's different ones that you can choose through, uh, depending on the popularity of the kingdom, where people are at, um, whether or not you're going to be a, a human or, a, you know, um, a lich, a dwarf. Those are the only three of the five playable races right now. There's five out there. Um, but right now there's, there's just these. So, uh, it's really up to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick it here. Uh, <clears throat> you start off as a human. Um, these are your heroes that you get to choose from. He basically is a, is a general commander. This is a warrior. Um, they have uh, the abilities uh, for each one's a little bit different. I usually pick Avril um, because she has things like freeze. She has eyes, blizzard, other stuff like that. He does things like jumps in, stuns, little whirlwind attacked on the battlefield. Um, it's more of an actual damage dealer. Uh, I haven't picked Avalon, but I'm assuming that he's going to um, have skills that buff his team. Um, so I'm going to go with somebody I like uh, just for fun, and then eventually I'm going to, you know, transfer my account over onto Nox that I'm playing on right now to actually show you how it works. A um, few things. Each hero basically allows you two units per fight. You're going to start off here. There's going to be some quests here. I was just going to say, hey, defeat the Marauders. Um, the cool thing about this game is you have um, units. So what happens here is they show you what's on the battlefield. You have your choice of units. Um, you can position them however you want. Um, obviously, this would be a great stack position. Um, and then again, you see here uh, currently two of zero troops um, on the field. So now when I put her out there, uh, I get two for each one. You can zoom in back and forth. Um, kind of how it works it's hard to manage um, but we'll kind of go from there so you then click fight uh, basically each unit has its own strength its own weaknesses they're gonna fight um, I'm gonna say you know oh, pick Nova so I cast it. it takes one mana you'll notice there's a slight delay uh, before it casts and then of course we're just beating up on the enemy uh, there is no speed up in battle so you're kind of stuck uh, go in there. When you do PvP, there is PvP. Uh, you fight over positions in the war, so we'll come to all that later. Uh, you can go from there. So we click OK. She's going to get some experience. Let's stop here for a second, and we'll go over some basics. This 4 here is stamina. This is how many fights she can fight in before you have to fill it. You slowly gain time. Um, get these back over time. This is mana. This is the number of spells you can cast before you run out. It's out. You can't cast spells. Again, slowly regenerates over time. Also, as you level up, they um, go up again, or you can find potions, but we'll get through all that. So, yay, we beat the quest. We click on here. We claim it. Yay! It says, now go get to the next guy. So, we click on here. This guy says, hey, I want to join your army, so I got four more archers. Um, there's a whole bunch of tabs over here. Uh, we're going to click on the hero tab. So, this is your might. This is basically physical damage, uh, chance to crit. This is your magic. Obviously, the higher the magic, the... Um, more power you do plus for every five of these you get another um, point of mana stamina this is basically how much damage is reduced by it but it also increases um, your max energy which is um, basically here um, tells you how often it regenerates and then um, command uh, increases your um, troop um, silver and gold the number of heroes that you can have uh, it gives you a little bit of details about them your hit points everything like that and then your abilities, obviously, these are the points that you earn as you level up. Um, this is your skill, or if you click on it, it tells you how much it costs and what it does, um, how much damage it does, kind of go from there. So let's just jump back into the battle. Um, or actually, I'm going to go army real quick. So on your army, there's different units. There's three different races. They're all different. 
uh, since this is just kind of the, the opening one, I'm just going to hit it from here. You have the bronze uh, guys here. These are the number of bronze troops. These are the level one guys um, that you see here. If they were silver, it would be a silver border. If they were gold, it would be a gold border. The number one represents theoretically the the ranking in that. You know, one's the lowest, you know, five, six, seven, where we want to go to. And then gold, obviously, this is your um, best troops that you can have. When you click on information, it gives you information about them. You can disband them if you want. I'm going to do that right now. But basically, it tells you um, that they're great against large um, and giant troops, and they also counter a cavalry's charge. So when people have a cavalry, if you see there's cavalry coming at you, you use these guys in the front line, and they're going to stomp the cavalry to bits. Um, same thing here. You know, these guys take a lot more damage from the enemy. Um, it's even an image, so there's nothing special about them other than the range. So we're going to click on these bad boys here. We're going to click attack. Um, this tells you here about these guys. And you know, when you're starting off, I always want you to figure out basically um, who's your best thing. So they're immune to reduction in water. They're, obviously, they have a 25% increased speed. Tactics, some battlefields have hills, mountains, where there's only one pass. Obviously, play with that. <coughs> Um, they deal magic damage to large and giant troops. They also, again, stop cavalry. So we'll go from there. So we'll hit attack. Again. There they go. Got to wait for all that. So we're going to pump this bad boy out. We're going to pump this out here. And we're going to drop her. And we're going to hit fight. Do, 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 do. Again, you're waiting here. You know, it's going to tell you, hey, you should cast this. Now, obviously, the more you cast it, the less mana you have. But right here, you know, again, the whole point is to... Um, do this as you see some troops run away some troops die um, this affects everybody uh, including yourself in a fight when you're pvp or when you're in the game all 12 died but sometimes you'll have guys that got injured here and dead here and um, injured people you can heal at your thing so again we see them down to three three uh, we're gonna pick up that just pick on the gold yay quest yay got more all right, so now i got to defeat the Riflemen. So um, now we're going to see these are ranged guys. Um, they use ammunition. Um, when they run out of ammunition, they decrease their attacks to go 65%. So, you know, obviously that's important to know. The closer the target, the more damage they deal. Um, so it's one of those things. These are true towers. Um, basically, they're going to shoot you and... They, they aren't hit by skills. These just slow you down. So for positioning, but you can do that. Um, I don't think I can. No, but I got to kill them first. So we're going to click attack. All right. So standard standard setup here. We're going to go here and click fight. This is, again, the first part of the stage. So we click here. Again, I don't want my troops to get destroyed, so I'm going to hit them before they get lit up right in the face. Um, now they're going to run out here. Uh, it kills me that they kill that instead of just focus on the tower. You see them getting damaged here. Um, oh, I'm getting hurt. This guy's the beat on that. It's such a stupid thing. Anyways, all right, so we hit victory. So you see here, my guys died. Um, so, okay, so I lost some people. She's so about to level up. We're going to grab all this stuff. It's all important. Each of those have an item. We'll go over that later. We're going to go here. Okay, got some more troops. We're going to grab this guy. So you'll see there's a lot more guys. Um, again, um, basically, I could have showed you what the troops did, but I didn't because I'm being bad. So now I've got this field. Now, you notice how they put them out. Now, I can drag these guys the way that I want to set it up the way that I want. Um, obviously, depending upon how you feel best. Now, when you start moving troops around, just know that sometimes this system is real hokey. Um, you only have so much space, you know, so like there, they're not going to fit. And then there we go. So now they fit. And you go, oh, something's wrong. I've got three of two. I can't use this many guys. So, um, you know, what do I do? Um, obviously, then I recall this troop. And then I put them there. 
and I put them here. Now you might say, what's going to happen to my guys? So we're going to um, click fight. And we're going to watch. Woo -hoo -hoo. It runs right through it, runs right through it. Runs right through it. Come on, come on, come on. So they're going in there. Um, you know, I can cast it. If I cast outside, it doesn't work. If I cast here, it does work. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and freeze them. Save my troops, save my troops. Don't take damage. Now you see increased morale, decreased morale. Obviously, I didn't lose anybody, which is good. Uh, undead are immune to morale loss, so I leveled up here. Yay! Tells me my new skill that I got, Ice Vortex. I click OK. He joins my party. Rufio! Alright, I'm going to grab some more people. So now we see a couple different people here, obviously. Um, you know, which of these do you want to go through first? Well, if we look on the map, you can't dodge around the map. You know, obviously going here nets me uh, two items were down there. Doesn't, um, you know, 200 power, so we're going to attack. Uh, this guy's obviously better against certain troops. Um, we're going to slide that up. Bump, 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 bump. All right, there we go. So he's up there in the front line because that's what he does. If you really want, you know, you could move him like this and move him like that. And then you click fight. So we're going to watch this bad boy. All right, so we're going to go heroically now. So for him, uh, you'll notice there's no mana cost to this. So he's going to come down. He's not going to stun him because that's not what he does. Um, there we go. So they took some damage, but nobody died, which is cool. So they all go back to full life. Um, we click OK. Grab ourselves some gear. And that's the first video, obviously, is long, just because it is what it is. This bad boy says, hey, you can repeat people. We're going to recruit them. Um, we're going to grab that and pick up the... It's there. Now we got to equip it people so you click at items shows you what's here this heals somebody if they fully die if your hero dies you got to wait 25 minutes for them to be usable again or you got to blow one of these this regenerates five energy which is basically kind of like your stamina um so we're going to go here to heroes we're going to click this bad boy we're going to click equip get it in plus two obviously he can dual wield if you saw that um they've got sets for these people equip all right, we're going to come down here. Let's fight Treant. Attack! So here, okay, we're going we're gonna to play a little tactics now. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to slide them over. I'm going to slide them over. I'm going to drop my guy in the back. I'm going to drop my troops here. I'm going to drop them there. I'm actually going to slide them over one. And drop him and drop her so basically I'm laying these guys out since they excel against tall people and my um, cavalry would get demolished and I want my cavalry to try and come around and hit there so we're gonna hit fight I'm going to go heroic leap right here cuz I don't want to be picked apart there you go see what the cavalry did they came around everybody looks like hunky-dory it's like I know what I'm doing Click OK. Um, quest complete. Yay! You know, all these things here are for your city. Um, so, this video's gone on for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and um, stop it. And I'm going to restart it for you all in a second. I don't want to have like a 50 minute video. So, give me a second. I'm going to start another one for you.